Hello, I'm Dr. Carrie Pearlson. I'm the program architect for the journey you're about to take with our cybersecurity professional program. Of course, this program was not done by just one person. We have a large village of faculty and experts working with me on the materials, the concepts, and the activities you'll experience. We're delighted that you are here. We assume you're here because you want to transition into a career in cybersecurity, or at least you want to explore this area as a potential career path. Let me tell you, security needs you. There is a big need for cybersecure resources. The New York Times recently reported that there are 3.5 million unfulfilled cybersecurity jobs worldwide as of 2021. A study done at the Wharton Business School said, nowhere is the workforce skills gap more pronounced than in cybersecurity. And Harvard Business Review reported that more than 50% of chief information security officers are concerned that they will not be able to fill all the cybersecurity jobs in their organization with qualified staff. Now, Forbes did a study of the most needed skills. Application development security and cloud security were far and away the most fastest growing skill areas in cybersecurity, with a projected five-year growth rate of 164% and 115% respectively. There's a shift from reactive to proactive security strategies that look at protecting our security vulnerabilities rather than just responding after they've occurred. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics tells us that the median pay for an information security analyst was more than $99,000 a year, and the expected number of jobs will grow to more than 30% from now to 2029. So you're in the right place not only to learn new skills, but to make a big difference in the lives of the people around you, the companies who hire you, and the countries in which you live. Now, our course is designed to achieve three main goals. Number one is to give you a foundation of cybersecurity. What are the main ideas for cybersecurity today? What are the most common frameworks and the technologies that we use today? And what are the newest thinking around how to keep your organization secure? Number two is to give you specific information about entry-level jobs in cybersecurity so that you can feel comfortable interviewing for these jobs. We've targeted jobs and devoted special weeks just to teach you the basics you'll need to get those jobs. We also discuss several other jobs that might be targets for you. And the third objective is to give you enough background in cybersecurity concepts that would prepare you for a degree or a certification in cybersecurity. We're not teaching you enough to pass the certification, such as a CISSP, but we are giving you the concepts that are necessary for you to understand so that you can easily go further in your cybersecurity education. Now, you don't have to be a techie to be in cybersecurity. There are enough opportunities for everyone. If you are a techie, that's great. Some of the readings and the materials will build upon things you already know. But if you're not a techie, some of the materials may be a little more challenging, but stay with us. There are many roles in our field for smart, dedicated professionals who are not techies, and you too can have a bright future in cybersecurity. This journey is eight weeks long. We have included MIT faculty and researchers. We have practitioners and experts. We have guest speakers who are actually in the roles that we're talking about, and we have exercises, activities, and more to test your understanding of the materials and practice some of the things you hear. Let's get started.